Hey there y'all, it's Megan. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. So today, I haven't done this in a little while, but I'm going to be doing like some, it's kind of like the tips for doing Disney kind of thing. I haven't talked about things that you should or shouldn't do when you go to Disney in a while. Um, it's mostly been like trivia stuff and story time stuff. And um, if you like those, make sure you're letting me know down below which ones uh, you like and what you want to hear about. So I've talked about a lot of things that you should do when you're at Disney. Now I figured I'd talk about a couple of things that you probably shouldn't do when you go to Disney. And I don't mean don't do this ride or don't do this attraction or uh, make sure that you don't forget to do this, that, that kind of thing. I'm talking about things that I've seen as a cast member or as a guest that I think like that's not something you should do like etiquette and, and stuff like that so if you haven't checked out my etiquette at Disney World video about like parades and fireworks and stuff like that check that out um, I'll link that up in the corner and down below so you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet but just in general try to be courteous and respectful and also maybe not do some of these things the first thing that I think that you definitely should not do at Disney World is actually a rule um, and cast members will say it over and over and over especially if you have like little guys that are with you they are the ones that usually get told this don't sit on queue chains or ropes or anything you will hear cast members all day long every day saying hey bud can you get off the chains for me don't sit on the rope please don't pull on the ropes don't sit on the ropes don't jump over the queue don't pull on the queue don't touch the queue um, and that is primarily for safety you don't want to see kids um, and I have seen it uh, sit on the ropes and be swinging because it's like a swing and it's fun um, and then just like completely tip out of it that happens um, the stepping over that's mostly adults that do that because if queue has been extended and there's a you know lots of switchbacks and you can see that maybe the line has gotten shorter and no one has come and closed queue then you're like oh well the line is actually only like this long but I have to walk all this way and I don't want to do it so I'm gonna go under the rope or I'm gonna step over the rope um, don't do that either I've also seen adults that like catch a toe as they go over the rope and face face plant um, so don't do that either uh, so that's the safety part of it and also it you may not think about it because most of the time when kids are sitting on it they're not that heavy and it's a chain or it's a rope or whatever and it's like oh you're not gonna break it um, but it can be destructive the chains and the ropes and everything while they are not gonna just like snap under the weight of a 40 pound child uh, they do pull in and the stanchions that are holding those ropes and stuff up start to lean and if you are looking in a queue you can tell where people have sat or or even stood I've seen parents holding kids up like walk on the tightrope kind of thing and don't do that please dear Lord don't do that but the stanchions start to lean in and some of them have pulled out of the ground and they've had to be resecured and that is just from pressure being put on the middle of those chains those ropes yeah so don't mess with the queue because it's dangerous and it can be destructive and we just don't need to do it this one is actually kind of funny this could probably be a story but I'm just kind of including it as a thing that you maybe should not do at Disney so think about the rooms where you meet the princesses I don't know what it's like at other Disney parks I haven't been to anywhere outside of the US and I haven't been to Disneyland in way too long um, if you work at Disneyland I swear I am working on getting a trip together for maybe next year fingers crossed and um, I'll get to see some of you guys then anyway <laughs> at Disney World there have routinely been princess rooms and it depends the time of year the year that you're there whatever that what princesses are together when I went last time I met Cinderella and Rapunzel in the same room um, it's been Rapunzel and Tiana you can meet Anna and Elsa usually together somewhere um, but when I was on my college program there was a room that had three princesses in one room it was Aurora Cinderella and Belle those three were all in one room and you would just kind of go from one to the next It was a mom and a little girl and they wanted her to be dressed as the princesses that she was meeting Which is totally fine. Like what is cuter than a small bell meeting big bell bell loves it any character if they see that you are dressed like them or wearing something that you know Minnie likes to talk about your ears and things like that so if you are meeting a princess and you're dressed like her she's gonna be like oh, princess your dress is so beautiful and she's gonna you know they're gonna interact about that and it's always a fun time however comma if there are three princesses in one room and you are going to see them back to back to back there is nowhere for you to go and swap outfits and that does not mean that you should undress your child in the middle of the room so that she can have a different dress for each princess. Yes, that happened. 
I'm sure it happened more than once, but I only specifically know of one time. That is a don't. Do not undress your kid in the middle of the room to switch dresses. I know it can uh, can be unfortunate if you want her to have the matching dress on and she has to meet Belle and Cinderella and Aurora all in her Belle dress, but that's just kind of how it is. You can't uh, you can't just like strip the Belle dress off and be like, okay, now Cinderella, here you go. Now go take the pictures. The, the mom took the picture of the little girl in her Belle costume, standing next to Belle, and we're like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, she comes back, go over to Cinderella when Cinderella's available and she literally like stripped the bell dress off, put the Cinderella dress on and shoved her up to her. And then she was very upset that she did not have the Aurora dress on to meet Aurora because cast members were like, you kind of can't do that. Um, if you want to get pictures with your, your, your little princess matching her favorite princesses, it sucks, but you're gonna have to like come back into the line multiple times. So, you know, take a picture with Belle, cool leave go change clothes come back later take a picture with cindy leave change clothes uh and and you know it's gonna be time consuming but if that is something that you are really desiring is those matching photos which are absolutely adorable and i'm sure that they will be treasured memories um but you just can't just start getting naked in the middle of disney world <laughs> and the last one is a don't for if you are visiting disney world and you know someone who works there. Don't ask for free things from cast members that you happen to know because they are your cousin's best friend's sister and you went to a party together one time. Or if you went to high school together and you have not talked in 10 years and hey, can you get me into the park for free? Uh, it's not a good look. The cast members get do get like free entrance passes for family and friends that they can use. And if you are friends with someone and um, they offer to get you into the park for free, then absolutely take it. But don't ask cast members for those benefits. Say, hey, we're going to be at Disney World and we would love to see you if you are working these days or whatever. Or if you are off, we would love to go and grab some food. And then if the cast member says, oh, would you like me to, to comp you and like you know get you in and we can go hang out in the parks together then at that point absolutely say 100 percent, yeah i am all for free if they don't bring it up on their own don't be like hey don't you get like uh free things for being a cast member can you uh you know hook me up and we, we we used to hang out 15 years ago because then they just feel used and it's not nice to feel used, no one likes that. Maybe they were saving them for a family who was gonna come visit that couldn't otherwise do that. Um, so either put them in the situation of having to sacrifice those uh, just because they don't wanna say no to you because you know most people are generally nice and they would like to help people out if they have the opportunity, um, or just flat out say, no, sorry, um, I would like to save them for people I actually want to come visit me or you know something like that because then you sound mean and no one wants that either so just don't put cast members in that situation something to think about maybe something that you shouldn't do if you are planning a Disney trip um, and you happen to know someone who is working at Disney so that is it for my couple of quick don'ts for going to Disney. I'm sure there are a lot more, but those were just a few that I thought of based on experience and things that I witnessed and experienced myself. So um, if you have any specific things that you think, hey, you shouldn't do this when you go to Disney World, leave those down below. I I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.